Savitri Book One The Book of Beginnings Canto One The Symbol Dawn Page Three The Last Three Lines The Brief Perpetual Sign Recurred Above A Glamour from Unreached Transcendences iridescent with the glory of the unseen, a message from the unknown immortal light, ablaze upon creation's quivering edge. Dawn built her aura of magnificent hues and buried its seed of grandeur in the hours. An instant's visitor the God had shown on life's thin border a while the vision stood and bent over earth's pondering forehead curve, interpreting a recondite beauty and bliss in colors hieroglyphs of mystic sense. It wrote the lines of a significant myth, telling of a greatness of spiritual dawns a brilliant code penned with the sky for page. Almost that day, the epiphany was disclosed, of which our thoughts and hopes are signal flares. A lonely splendor from the invisible goal almost was flung on the opaque inane. Once more, a tread perturbed the vacant vasts. Infinity's center, a face of rapturous calm, parted the eternal lids that opened heaven. A form from far beatitudes seemed to near. Ambassadress, twixt eternity and change, the omniscient goddess leaned across the breads that wrap the fated journeyings of the stars and saw the spaces ready for her feet. Once she half looked behind for her veiled son, then, thoughtful, went to her immortal work. Earth felt the imperishable's passage close the waking ear of nature heard her steps, and wideness turned to her its limitless eye, and, scattered on seal depths, her luminous smile kindled to fire the silence of the worlds. All grew a consecration and a rite. Air was a vibrant link between earth and heaven, the wide-winged hymn of a great priestly wind arose and failed upon the altar hills. The high boughs prayed in a revealing sky. Here, where our half-lit ignorance skirts the gulfs, on the dumb bosom of the ambiguous earth, here, where one knows not even the step in front, and truth has her throne on the shadowy back of doubt, on this anguished and precarious field of toil, outspread beneath some large, indifferent gaze, impartial witness of our joy and bell, our prostrate soil bore the awakening ray. Here too, the vision and prophetic gleam lit into miracles common meaningless shapes. Then the divine afflatus spent, withdrew, unwanted, fading from the mortal's reign. A sacred yearning lingered in its trace, 
the worship of a presence and a power too perfect to be held by death-bound hearts, the prescience of a marvelous birth to come. Only a little the God-light can stay. Spiritual beauty, illumining human sight, lines with its passion and mystery, matter's mask, and squanders eternity on a beat of time. As when a soul draws near the sill of birth, adjoining mortal time to timelessness, a spark of deity lost in matter's crypt, its luster vanishes in the inconscient plains. That transitory glow of magic fire, so now dissolved in bright, accustomed air. The message ceased and waned the messenger. The single call, the uncompanioned power, drew back into some far-off secret world, the hue and marvel of the supernal beam. She looked no more on our mortality. The excess of beauty natural to Godkind could not uphold its claim on time-born eyes, too mystic real for space tenancy. Her body of glory was expunged from heaven. The rarity and wonder lived no more. There was the common light of earthly day. A franchise from the respite of fatigue, once more the rumor of the speed of life pursued the cycles of her blinded quest. All sprang to their unvarying daily acts, the thousand peoples of the soil and tree obeyed the unforeseeing instant's urge. And leader here, with his uncertain mind, alone who stares at the future's covered face, man lifted up the burden of his fate. And Savitri too awoke among these tribes that hastened to join the brilliant summoner's chant and lured by the beauty of the apparent ways, acclaimed their portion of ephemeral joy. Akin to the eternity when she came, no part she took in this small happiness. A mighty stranger in the human field, the embodied guest within made no response. The call that wakes the leap of human mind, its checkered, eager motion of pursuit, its fluttering-hued illusion of desire, visited her heart like a sweet alien note. Time's message of brief light was not for her. In her there was the anguish of the gods, imprisoned in our transient human mold, the deathless conquered by the death of things. A vast a nature's joy had once been hers, but long could keep not its gold heavenly hue or stand upon this brittle earthly base. A narrow movement on time's deep abysm Life's fragile littleness denied the power, the proud and conscious wideness, and the bliss she had brought with her into the human form, the calm delight that weds one soul to all, the key to the flaming doors of ecstasy. <laughs>